Venezuela. Bienvenidos. My name is Marina Bencomo, and I come from the top of South America, Venezuela. And the second spot goes to Miss Venezuela. Marina Bencomo. Eso. Lorena is 23 and currently doing a residency in dentistry in her native Venezuela. Uh -huh. You meet Miss Venezuela. She's a <laughs> she's a 23-year-old flamenco dancer who's also in her fourth year of dental school. Welcome, Miss Venezuela, and soon to be Dr. Marina Bencomo. Now you have requested an interpreter. All right. Now we're going to ask the first question. Uh, you founded a, a volunteer organization in Venezuela, right? What does the organization do? Has fundado una organización voluntaria en Venezuela. ¿Qué es lo que hace? Nosotros vamos a las áreas rurales a ayudar a los niños pobres que no tienen idea de cómo cuidar su higiene bucal y los enseñamos y los ayudamos a que aprendan a que la salud es lo principal. We go to rural areas and we teach a children how to care for, how to uh, learn about dental hygiene. We bring this to them because uh, that is something that is uh, very important for them. I've got to say, this is the first time in this history of the pageant that we've ever had a flamenco dancing dentist. May I ask you one more thing? Could you do it just for me? Would you demonstrate a little flamenco dancing? Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Of course, I should. Eso! Gracias! Miss Venezuela, Marina Bencomo! Venezuela, Marina Bencomo. Miss Venezuela. <laughs> Hay mucha gente aquí esta noche, eh? Thank you. You have chosen judge number two, Tommy Ford. Your question, sir. If you knew that one of the other delegates had received the questions in advance, what would you do? Si tú supieras que una de las mises uh, hubiera recibido la última uh, pregunta por anticipado, ¿qué harías? Pienso que se la pediría para que me la enseñara, para que nos compartiéramos juntas y así poder ayudar a las demás también. Gracias a usted y Miss Venezuela, please stay right here if you would. No mueve en este momento, por favor. Thank you, Miss Venezuela. Only three of these young women can continue in the competition. Again, I read the names in random order. The final three delegates for the title of Miss Universe 1997 are Miss Venezuela.
question is, if there were no rules in your life for one day and you could be outrageous, what would you do? Si no hubiese reglas o normas en tu vida durante un, du un día y pudieras hacer cualquier locura, ¿qué harías? Simplemente creo que tomaría un viaje, me encanta viajar, viajaría por todos los lugares del mundo, visitaría Israel. Si puede ser en un día, mágicamente viajaría así y así de un lado a otro y sería lo que haría. I think I would simply take a trip. I would travel around the world. I would go to Israel. And since it would be in one day, I would just magically travel from place to place to place. Thank you, the interpreter, Miss Venezuela. And now, the most challenging moment of the evening for our judges. They are about to cast their final vote as each of our final delegates steps forward. Judges, you'll vote for her to be second runner-up, first runner-up, or the new Miss Universe. We begin with Miss Venezuela. Universe, let us remind you of the importance of the first runner-up. We to reign for any reason that the first runner-up will become Miss Universe. Ladies, this is it. First runner-up is Miss Venezuela Marina Mendoza. Miss Universe. 